I'm Musa Kawula and welcome to the Pope of Pop Culture. If you're on your phone, I hope you're taking pictures of your celebrities, your influencers and pictures of me, okay? Chomi, uyaiva gengok. Di macheroni pictures, ndovuwa hani, ndovuwa. I am Musa Kawula, my friends call me Wendy Williams Lightbitch and welcome to the Pope of pop culture. So we're seeing obviously at the metros when uh, this DJ Tira was winning uh, for Sigili Deride, uh, Best Chrome Song and some other award. And then uh, Babe Sodom obviously was there to go and collect. And she had to go and collect her dead husband, hmm, Big Nas awards and all of that stuff. And then this Big Nas didn't win because DJ Tira won the two awards and whatnot. So she was very moody and everybody, you know, has been talking about she, that she's, she's not well, she is lonely. Meanwhile, uh, she also, you know, she did mention that uh, this DJ Tira is the one who's helping she to come back in the game and whatnot. But then me and my friends, we're very worried. We're thinking, is it not too late? You know, why don't you, maybe you could just sit home and and raise your damn child because nobody cares about Chrome anymore but we do wish you all the best and, and yeah and she seems tired and all of that stuff bitch so yeah good luck to she we seen it at the metros very sad and very moody you'd say and and yeah so that started a conversation everyone yeah she needs support she also did say that you know the other day that she want to get back to the streets and you know find her love because a bitch been horny since the husband died and all of that stuff right so so yeah and good luck to she she's gonna need it anyway bitch let me drink And then now we're seeing, you know, uh, the first episode of uh, Dr. Maweni's reality show, Togo Zagogo. It just debuted on this Mojo Love bitch and it has left everybody feeling a ways because they like, this bitch is desperate. Why is she going through all the mergers to show them all that witchcrafty shit that she does and all of that. Everybody is judging she. But then also me and my friends was thinking, didn't you guys order reality shows? Which shit do you want to watch? Do you understand? Do you want to watch shit? Yeah, but boy, it is the drone that she's been fixing all her career. Do you understand? So there she is with a reality show, and me and my friends are definitely watching its first episode. Uh, we did see she talking to Sabelo, and you know, Sabelo bombed this bitch car and the other time, and she was mad. And then there's rumors that they're gonna get a divorce. So there's a lot going on, and there's a whole lot of witchcrafty. We're seeing them snakes. You know, she has five now, and then we heard that she may get a mamba this time. So. <laughs> So, you know, everybody is worried. Good luck to everybody that, that's going to go consult and all of that stuff, right? Hope, hopefully, you all don't get bit by the snakes, bitch. Do you understand? <laughs> so, anyway, you are definitely watching this, this show, uh, Togo Zagogo on Mojo Love. And, and, yeah, we'll be also talking about it at that breakdown of ours, right? Because, you know. So, anyway, I do want us to talk about, you know, Smangangema, uh, Kosengema's dead you know that cousin gamma they can't act at the blood and water blood and water is coming for a fourth season or something apparently they back shooting and all of that stuff but anyway uh cousin gamma is dead this manga and gamma obviously you know that you're going to remember that uh his sister went in accused he of uh sexual assault and afunagomianza umkov afunagomianza all that stuff and then the sister was like in a place of hiding bitch because she's scared for she live let, let me tell you what happened actually you know someone this bitch saying you're gonna know that obviously smang and this bitch they they brother and sister and this the sister lost her child somewhere and whatnot and then she was like very sad and whatnot and then she went and, and lived with smanga gamma you know what her brother while she was going through all of this mourning and pain and all of that stuff right so fine you know that smanga is married as well and all of that stuff so this speech is like you know uh, this whole thing started with smanga you know like making comments that you know what my sister you know i like you and all of that stuff and then this woman didn't leave and then she continued to stay and then things escalated and now she says that this nigga man assaulted she sexually assaulted she and all of that stuff so now smanga is coming forward that you know what he's saying that his career has been like deeply affected because of this whole 
uh, sexual assault allegation, bitch, and nobody wants to hire him. And I think he had some job and then they fired him, you know. So now he's struggling, only now Cousin Gemma is left to be the breadwinner of the house. Do, do you understand? Because now the dad can't book a job and Cousin Gemma has that one job and the blood and water and everybody still thinks she can't act. Do you understand? Beautiful girl, beautiful gowns and all of that stuff, but a bitch talentless. And I don't know. Can't can they just get her out? Okay, that uh, Amakamata, she's not bad. Limited range, you know, like Terry Petto's range or something. You know, good luck to them. And you know that uh, also this Amakamata, she's uh, shooting some, I think it's a film or it's a series in, in, in the world, in the Ghana or Uganda or whatnot. And I don't know who's going to be watching because me and my friends already don't even like Blood and Water. So we're not going to watch some shit from Uganda. Good luck to Smang and Gema. He's going to need it. And, and yeah. So anyway, uh, let's move on and talk about Kelly Kumalo. We've seen she recently, you know, she gave birth like a month ago and whatnot. So she took uh, the baby girl for a stroll and, and whatnot. And you know, the, the dead is in Togo Zisiyende and nobody came to her baby shower, but she seems happy, she looks good, and everybody was like congratulating she on her baby, but then I don't see many people congratulating that Lamise uh, Holworthy. You know, she also gave birth just the other day and quickly went back to her job at the metros, and then everybody's worried that, is your maternity over, bitch? Like, don't they give you maternity at the metros? But she's back, and, and yeah, good luck to to she, she's gonna need it. We do wish her all the best and with this baby <laughs> that nobody cares about, by the way. So anyway, let's move on. Also, we did see, let me drink. We did see um, this Monang Shadow at the Metro FMs, you know, she was hosting bitch uh, alongside that, that one that got was accused of assault and, and all of that stuff. Then everybody had cancelled. He, uh, the Katlejo, and whatnot. Everybody, you know, but everybody was happy for Katlejo for booking this job. But somehow, everybody sort of just wants that Lawrence, uh, you know, that Lawrence, nice, that nice Lawrence to come and host these awards over and over again because it's just as good and entertaining and easy in the eye. And Katlejo is just like there. And, you know, paired with uh, the short neck little bitch. And then nobody, you know, is thoroughly entertained. But this shit was at, uh, at the Bombela Stadium. We did see Monang Shadow. She changed her outfit six times, bitch. Uh, styled by this Pupo Kumete and, and dressed by Gerard, uh, you know, for all of them gowns that, th that look repetitive. They, they're not groundbreaking these gowns. It's just beautiful gowns and they not you know they're not giving like icon shade it's like a dress that you know maybe it's like a dress that probably that tando tabete or somebody worn like five years ago a repetition of a dress and just different you know small twists and, and oh yeah she did look beautiful and and yeah nobody cares what katlejo was wearing but yeah he, he's, he's not bad as a presenter you know he has a job at that morning expresso and all of them afternoon expresso that nobody is watching but somehow they still play because basitana kumalo you know she's an, she's an executive producer of these shows that nobody cares about but you know, I'm a show about any them daughter, they get cancelled. Meanwhile, um, Morning Express so keeps playing, and this is where there's Katlejo Beach works, right? And and yeah, the dresses were were beautiful, but not groundbreaking. And and yeah, she did look pretty. So so yeah, but or, or maybe they couldn't afford to hire Bonang, the original Bonang Mateba, and then they went and got the Bonang Shadow. But but yeah, and. Uh, you know, there's Miss S.A. organization page. Now they've closed their applications officially for the year. For the hunt of this Miss S.A. 2023 and whatnot. So they also said uh, married women can go chase the crown. Doesn't matter if you have children and all of that stuff, right? But then I also feel like that was just, you know, for like maybe controversy purposes because they opened the application that this, then the following day, then they closed. 
So it was like, okay, when did this married bitch is going to get time to go apply so that they can get rejected because they already have their Miss SA shit that nobody cares about. So why are they at the Miss SA? And, you know, so good luck to everybody that's going to be entering these married bitches and even the unmarried bitches are not even doing just as good. I will show you and that bitch that's holding the crown now and then she plays so poorly at them fucking miss universe and she didn't place and shudu did not place but you know our beautiful queens from from the avocado land <laughs> so anyway that's all the code for you bitch and and yeah you and i we're just gonna talk tomorrow bitch bye